Oh, hi. Just enjoying a luxurious soak in our stock tank after a long, hard day of fencing. <laughs> We've been on the computers all day. Shh. They don't know that. <laughs> Let me just tell you, Stock Tank has totally helped us make it through the summer because it's way too hot out here this year. Yeah. Next summer. Next summer. Bigger Stock Tank pool. Yes. That will be a project. But for now, after we've been working all day, it's nice to come out and cool off a little bit. Speaking of, fence is done. Yes. No, This will be the last fencing video, hopefully for a really long time. Hopefully. I really hope so, because I'm tired of fencing. So we're gonna talk about the last few things we did on the fence to finish it up, and what we're working on next. We are almost done with all the gripples and the electric. Yeah. We thought we were gonna be done last night, but right at the very end, we found a corner. Someone hadn't drilled the lower lines at the right spot at the corner, and so it's not low enough. So we're gonna have to redo that part. And it's not the corner we did. Yeah, I was from the fencing workshop. <laughs> I think I Moses did it. I did. <laughs> so we gotta fix the bottom two lines. Um, and then I think we're gonna try to hook up the electric. Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. We're gunning to get this thing done this weekend, though, if it doesn't rain too much. Oh, With the gripple, since we have to redo this line, we should be able to use this little tool and loosen the gripple's grip and just slide it off, pull it through, redrill, and do it. But sometimes this doesn't work. So, I don't know. We haven't been able to get this to release yet. We're going to try it a little bit more. If it doesn't work, we may end up just having to cut the line at the corner, redo the corners, and then just cut here and then reconnect them with the new grip. Don't look at my cart. It's really messy. Just, just don't look at it. Oh my God. Who organized that? Who did this? Why? <laughs> uh. I think it's a kid's fault. What is happening? Hold on, hold on. After we got the corner fixed, it was time to start hooking up electric. So we got a really simple solar charger. And so it's basically a little tiny solar panel and a little brain. And then you hook it up to just a regular marine battery. And what it does is it, it basically shoots electricity down your hot and your ground wire. But it, it's not like it's on all the time and it's it's powered by the battery. So it's just kind of shooting that power down. So if you were to grab it, you wouldn't get like one long shock. You'd get like multiple shocks over and over if you decided to keep holding on. <laughs> we 
because we did the wood post and we had to insulate around, around the wood post, we had to reconnect at all those corners. So we had to take some copper wire and connect on the live side of the line on one side of the corner and then the live side on the other corner. Yeah, so basically you're just right. jumping the corner. But then we also had gates. Yeah, so what did we do on the gates? So the gates, what you want to do is you jump off of two of the lines, the hot and the ground, and you dig a trench and you go under the gate and then you come up on the other side and you connect it to another hot and ground. And then you have to jumper them all back together because you want to electrify all nine of those lines. It was a lot of wrapping again, but yeah. it was the copper was wire. Copper. So it was soft and Adeline and I actually did all of that. Yeah, so much easier. By the time we got it all hooked up, we dug all the trenches, we filled them back in, we reconnected all the copper. Now the fence is officially electrified. Dad, so it's only will it like not bad really enough. hurt? No, I don't know. Ada, You're you supposed would to touch, touch this one. You would hold on Ow. this. Hold on Ow. this. Hold on Ow. this. Oh my God. Did you get shots? How? <laughs> It's paralyzed? not hurt. Are your arms paralyzed? No. <laughs> Are you sure? It's Did not I, like I got yeah, kicked. Because sure? you just went in the stomach. Speaking of gates, we did have to attach hog panel to our big 16-foot gates and our walk-through gates, so the animals can't walk through the gate because the gate itself is not electrified. We also had to finish tying off our gripples. So the gripples are those little things you take one end of the wire and the other end of the wire and you put it through and then it holds it and you can take a special tool and you put tension on it and it tightens that wire up. But then you have those, those extra pieces of wire kind of dangling down and you don't want those to touch the wire below it. So what we ended up doing was taking locking channel locks and um, holding that on there while we twist the end just a couple times just to hold it together. It's not about like stability or structure, it's just really about um, it off that cleaning that up, yeah, visually. Yeah. So honestly, that part was just about the most frustrating yeah. because there wasn't any leverage and that wire just wanted to twist and so you had to get those locking channel locks on like just right mm -hmm. or else they'd pop out and it would start spinning. Gosh. Yeah, that was a little annoying. <sighs> but we're done with it. We're done with that. Actually, we're almost done with it. What are you talking about? Okay. That's a surprise. Then we went through all the fence line and cut all the tops of the corner posts off. Yeah, the wood posts were, they were eight foot posts. We put them in about, there was about six feet left mm -hmm. um, at the top. And so we just chopped them down to where they were, was it five or six inches above the top line? Right. We did leave our gate post extra tall just because it looked nice. Yeah. We went through and re- <laughs> painted them and yeah. made it look all nice mm -hmm. and we're done and we're done is that it we don't have anything else to talk about no we have so much more oh we're not done oh well then why did you say we were done well we were done with the post oh gotcha um, okay i see i found the coolest latch for our gates yes it's actually called the best latch <laughs> <laughs> not the greatest name but it's a really great latch and this guy in texas makes them 
So basically it's a one-handed latch and it can go two ways. Like the gate goes two ways, which is nice. Cause some of the latches that I found, it's only a one-way thing. Right, right. So my parents were in town yeah, your parents this came. last week. And when I was explaining the latch and like trying to figure out how we were going to notch it into the wood post, my dad was like, I'll show you how it's done. We got those latches on and now the kids, have, it's so much easier for them to open and close the gate because we were using like a chain and it was just, a, it was really difficult for them to kind of make work. So this is a lot easier. And just when I thought we were done with the fencing, somebody talked me into an extra fence project. What are we doing? We are adding a paddock to our existing fence line. So we're going to have like this odd shape here for some animals. Yeah, so we've already got half of it built. So yeah. we're just gonna tie off. It's of... gonna be so easy, babe. Oh, so we easy. Just throw in some That's posts. what she said last night. You're like, yeah, we'll just throw in the post tonight. We'll throw it up. And <laughs> <laughs> we started looking at it like, oh, it's a little more complicated than yeah. we thought. But I think we've figured it out. It's not gonna be too bad. We're gonna put a gate in um, and we're gonna jump her over the wire so it stays electric. The hardest part is just because our driveway is curved and we have an angle at the entryway, it's mm. just, and it, we're, it's not going to be a perfect rectangle. No, and we're trying to go around existing plants. But really we're just trying to not <clears throat> disturb as many plants as possible. Yeah. So that's why we're going to end up with odd shapes here and that's okay with us. Yeah. So we're going to um, put some stakes in and run some lines just to make sure we're not hitting anything major and then we'll clear it. We'll just put the posts in. in. Yeah, we'll just throw it in tonight. It'll be easy. No, it'll probably take a few days, but it shouldn't be too bad, theoretically. Famous last words, yeah, right? Right. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> So what's so cool about this is that with the timeless fence, it really was easy to just add to it mm -hmm. without having to run entirely new lines. Yeah. So on the existing fence line, we needed to add another wood post there. 
So all we had to do was lift up a few of the T-posts, the timeless T-posts. Just pulled them out of the ground, yep. just pushed the whole thing back. We leaned against the fence so we could push it back and auger our hole for our posts. It went in like super so we easy. we put the post in and then we just put the insulator, the T-post, we slid it down the line. Oh yeah, we just moved that T-post down the yeah. line. And then put it right up against the face of that post. So mm -hmm. there's still, it's still insulated from the wood post and we can jumper those lines if we want to with the copper yeah. um, but then that way we have a wood post so that we can put tension to go sort of perpendicular to the existing line it was really easy. we did it all in like two or three days two days yeah which is crazy like we put a whole fence up well well half a fence up. <laughs> small area I put half a fence up <laughs> <laughs> but it was pretty cool to see how sort of versatile the whole setup is yeah. that we were able to and we already had posts left over, so yeah. we didn't have to go actually buy anything, yeah. except a gate. We had extra wire. Yeah, the gate's the only thing we had to go buy. Yeah. So we're going to get another best best latch ever, right? Oh, yeah. Is that what it's called? The best the latch best ever? The best latch. <laughs> the super awesome best latch. <laughs> now that the fence is done, that means we get to actually stop, like, prepping the property, and we actually get to start building the property. Yeah. Which is a huge shift. And honestly, we're a little kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> it's like we've known exactly what we need to do up to this point because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we don't have water, we have to get a water tank. Or, oh, yeah. it's really hot, we need to build sh shade cells. Our cows are eating our stuff, we gotta build a fence. Uh, but now it's like we get to do whatever we want. And mm -hmm. so obviously we've been planning and thinking about this, but there's still so much to do. Like. What do we do? There's too many options. There's too many options. <laughs> but we're really excited to like actually start to get in and like create this property, mm -hmm. like the vision that we have for it. So we hope you're gonna keep following us. Things are gonna get real interesting and real fun. And we won't always be in a stock tank. Yeah. Sorry. It's just, it's too hot. It's just too hot. We had to be in water, sorry. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. I can see you back.